You know, I never thought I'd be making this video. I honestly thought that Whitney Merciless, JJ Watt, and Jadavion Clowney were all g going to hunt quarterbacks for the rest of their careers together. I mean, every single Texans fan since 2014, we were all waiting for this moment. What moment? The moment where J.J. Watt, Jadavion Clowney, and Whitney Merciless were all healthy and together on the field. We were waiting for that moment. It's been, what, see, like four years we've been waiting for this? It finally happened. And when it finally happened, what happened? Romeo Cornell didn't know how to properly use him. I mean, seriously. I mean, I mean I've mean, i gone on this rant before many, many times. And I'm probably going to do it again because it's so frustrating. You have three top-tier edge rushers, or pass rushers, for that matter. You got JJ, Jadavion, and Whitney. But for whatever reason, you don't know how to use them all properly. J.J. Watt can play inside, and J.J. Watt is not a selfish player. You know this. You can easily tell J.J., hey, you know, you want to play inside? J.J. will be sure. You know, then you just put Whitney Mercer at J.J. spot. And what does that bring? Instant pressure. Instant pressure. And even if you, if you want to say J.J. Watt shouldn't be lining up at inside every single play. Well, okay, you know who else can line up inside? Jadavion Clowney. It's really not that complicated. Just Romeo Cornell isn't, you know, very smart at the moment. Like, you know, maybe in the past he would have been able to find a way to make it work, but for whatever reason, this season, as you guys saw, you had Whitney Merciless dropping back into coverage. You had him doing things that he's not used to doing he pretty much played a different position even though we're still outside linebacker that's not Whitney Merciless Whitney Merciless is an edge rusher he's an edge rusher he's used to rushing the quarterback now my question is should the Texans trade Whitney Merciless now if this question would have been asked to me like probably about three, four months ago. I would have been, hell no. But now, it's a yes. It's a definite yes. I mean, it hurts me to say it because I really like Whitney Merciless. And, again, I wanted J.J. Watt, Jadavion Clowney, and Whitney Merciless on the field at the same time rushing quarterbacks. But that's just not going to happen because of coaching, straight up. It is coaching, it is Romeo Cornell, 100%. There is no excuse for you not having your best pass rushers out there rushing the quarterback. But, you know, trading Whitney Merciless. Now, it makes sense, in my opinion, for the Texans. Now, if you trade Whitney Merciless, the Texans save like 6.2 mil, which isn't much. Which is why I really hate trading Merciless because Merciless, you're getting a top tier pass rusher for 7 mil. That is what we're paying Whitney Merciless. 7 mil. That is nothing for a pass rusher like him. That's nothing. And next season, he's going to be 29. And the thing about Whitney Merciless that some people don't understand for whatever reason, people say, oh, you know, Whitney Merciless had a down year. He did not have a down year. Whitney Merciless was just straight up misused. That's no down year. That's on coaching 100%. Any smart GM or head coach would put on the tape and take a look at what Whitney Merciless did, and they'll be like, what is Romeo Cornell doing? This guy's a pass rusher. Why is he dropping back into coverage? And then they'll put on tape from previous years, and they'll be like, damn, this guy's good. And Whitney Merciless, by any means, he's not an injury-prone player. This guy has only had one major injury in his career. And that was, you know, last year or two years ago with the pec injury. 
And a pec injury isn't something that really, you know, comes back at you. So Whitney Merciless, you know, he's durable. He's 29. And I think, in my opinion, the most important thing about Whitney Merciless is he don't win with power or speed. Meaning, he don't rely on athleticism to win. He relies on his brain and techniques. That's Whitney Merciless. So what that means is Whitney Merciless is going to be good for another five years, six. Whitney Merciless is going to be one of those guys that play for a very long time. He's going to be like Julius Peppers. How, what was his name? Jared Allen, how he played for, you know, the Vikings, like for the end of his career. He was very good. He's going to be one of those guys because you don't see him, you know, overpowering a guy or you know being way too fast for a guy he's just straight up you know he outsmarts them he beats them with his brain technique his pass rushing moves that's how Whitney Merciless wins and a guy like that ooh, he's very very valuable that's why I would hate to trade him but it makes sense it just makes sense in you know many different ways Number one, I already said it. Romeo Cornell just doesn't know how to use his players. And yeah, unfortunately, you know, Merciless is going to be the odd man out. You know, Clowney, he's going to get re-signed. J.J. Watt, J.J. Watt's never going to get traded from Houston. So the odd man out of the three, it's Whitney, unfortunately, even though I would love to keep all three. I don't see it happening. I think the Texans are... You know, too dumb to realize their mistakes and fix it by firing Cornell or making Cornell properly use them. But, you know, that's just the first reason. The second reason I think it makes sense is because Whitney Merciless is technically on a contract year. And for the past four or five years, Whitney Merciless has been severely underpaid. So I'm pretty sure. Whitney Merciless is going to want a bigger payday. And he definitely 100% deserves a bigger payday. Even though he had the season he had last year. And again, that's all on coaching. It's not on Whitney. Even though he had that season, Whitney Merciless should be getting paid at least over 14 mil a year. He is that type of player. He's good. He sets the edge. He's a good pass rusher, a good teammate, a good guy. You know, Whitney deserves to get paid. And unfortunately, I don't think the Texans are currently in a position to give him that, you know, that pay raise. And in addition to that, there's been rumors that Whitney Merciless is indeed frustrated by the way he's been used. So, all I'm saying is, it is possible. And, you know... It's hard to see it happening because the type of guy Whitney Merciless is. Because Whitney Merciless is a good guy. And I don't think he'll ever put himself before his teammates. But I do believe it is possible that Whitney Merciless will hold out this offseason for a bigger contract or for a trade. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be for a trade because he's frustrated with the team. He's not being used properly. And, you know, again underpaid so you know that brings in the question how much is Whitney Merciless worth a pass rusher like Whitney Merciless that wins by technique and brains a guy who's still 29 who will probably be elite till he's like 33 34 in my opinion he's worth a second round pick after quarterbacks pass rushers are the most sought after thing in the league. If Whitney Merciless, you know, became available, he'd automatically become, you know, the best available pass rusher. That's, you know, not Nick Bosa or any of those guys coming out in the draft. But for a second round pick, if you're a pass rusher needy team, that's honestly a steal. Because you're going to get a guy like Whitney Merciless who's, who's going to be good until he's like 33, 34. You're going to get a guy who's under contract this season for 
six mil. That's robbery. Just straight up robbery. And, you know, honestly, if you're speaking of a second round pick, you're honestly not going to get a guy better than Whitney Merciless. You're just not. And I know some people are going to say, there is no way Whitney Merciless is worth a second. Look at the season he had. Again, season he had was on coaching. <laughs> it wasn't on him. Smart GM, smart head coach. They put on the tape. They see that Whitney was misused. But will the Texans make this trade or make a trade? I don't know. But if the Texans do trade Whitney Merciless, I wouldn't be expecting it to be, you know, Whitney Merciless for a second round pick straight up. And I'm not going to say, you know, we could trade Whitney Merciless for an early second round pick, you know, like, for example, the Cardinals. You know, we can't trade Whitney Merciless for the 33rd overall pick. We'd be trading Merciless for somewhere around, you know, like the 58th overall pick or something like that. You know, somewhere later in the second round. I'm not saying we're going to, you know, trade him for an early second rounder because, honestly, that's way too valuable. But, anyways, if Whitney Merciless gets traded, I don't see it being a trade where, you know, we straight up trade Merciless for a pick. I see it being more of a package deal. A deal like where it's, I don't know, let's just say one of our second round picks and Whitney Merciless to move up into, you know, the last bit of the first round to pick up a corner or an offensive tackle, you know? I don't see us trading just Merciless straight up. I don't see that, but of course, if he does get traded, that only brings up the question, okay, who do we get to replace Whitney Merciless? Well, that's simple. In my opinion, the answer to that question is already on the roster. It's not a certain someone. It's two players. Duke Ejiofor and Dylan Cole. If you need a linebacker to rush the passer, you throw in Duke Ejiofor. You need someone to pass cover? Well, you sub out Duke Ejiofor and throw in Dylan Cole. It's really that simple. I think the trade makes sense for, you know, the Texans if they want to improve their roster because, honestly, even though Whitney Merciless is one head of a player, what good is he even doing on your team if he's not even be being used properly? And, you know, again, Whitney's been frustrated with the team, apparently, by the way he's been used. So, you know, it's, in my opinion, a win-win situation. You trade Whitney, you bring in a player who can actually contribute to you that you actually might know how to use, and then Whitney gets what he wants, a bigger you know, payday or pay raise. And, you know, he gets to use properly and gets to do what he should be doing. And that is rushing the quarterback. So, in my opinion, I think this will happen. I just think it will. And it makes sense. I would be shocked if Whitney Merciless comes back to the Texans next season. Honestly, because... He's just not being used properly, and, you know, the reports already came out by, I think it was Pat D. Stat that said it, that Whitney's frustrated with the team for, you know, being played out of position. So, in my opinion, it makes sense for, you know, both parties to, you know, kind of part ways, and, you know, I don't see this ending kind of ugly. I mean, if Whitney holds out and the Texans refuse to trade him, I will 100% support Whitney Merciless because I 100% understand where he'd be coming from, underpaid and misused. I mean, you don't want to be that guy. And that's kind of the guy that Whitney Merciless is right now, and I think he deserves better. So, anyways, that's all I have for you guys for today. Be sure to answer down below in the comment section if you would be willing to trade Whitney Merciless. And yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.